Hey, it's Brigzar, and today we're going to look at a special minifigure from a few years back. This is the Lego Max from the Lego Club, and he came in a little poly bag that was sort of exclusive. It was hard to find. At least I couldn't find it here in the United States. Now, we did get a keychain, which we'll show you also, but we got here Max at the Lego Club portal which was a design that was on the Lego Club website that you could build. It had the pieces and instructions there on the Lego Club website at one time. I don't think it's still there anymore. And there's an image of this. You'd see this on the website, this portal. This is a Duplo block with it, uh, Lego Club. show you that it's not my own design. It's something that I um, got from the website. So, and they, so we built that. Uh, from that design, that's the minifigure. You also had a keychain, and this is the minifigure, what it looks like in a sealed poly bag. This was 852996, and the keychain is 852856. So let's look at them closer. All right, here is the Max figure. He's got the trademark hair, it's kind of ruffled, he's got tan pants. Should have used those pants for my sig fix. He's got side pockets. Pretty cool. He's got a light blue, kind of medium blue shirt with dark blue arms. He has no back printing on his head or anything like that. He's got the M logo orange on green. Uh, my college colors, I think. Well, actually, ours was more of a hunter green. His head, though, that, it, that is one of the scariest looking heads uh, without the um, hair on it. I don't know why. It just looks kind of scary to me. That's Max without his hair. But that is the exclusive Max minifigure. Let's look at All the right, Here's the keychain. Uh, it's a glued head. And he's got the keychain screwed into his head there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So it's identical to the minifigure. And I remember my son wanted this Max really bad. And the uh, reason we have the keychains is because that's the only way we could get them at first. But then they made... Um, this minifigure available but we had to get that from Europe because it was not for sale here in the States. And We'll take another look at the portal. I showed this on an earlier video. It's one of my earliest videos I made on this channel but my son really wanted to make this um, so he's the one that built it and I found the parts for him. They look kind of scruffy because we just grabbed them out of our used lot. Uh, that's the portal. The door does actually open. I do believe yeah, it opens like that. So he's got his little Computer panel there. There's a little retina scanner or something. I don't know what that is. Another computer panel there. I lost a flower <laughs> or a plant. That plant's supposed to be there. So it's a real simple build. Uh, I'm sure you can find instructions for it on the website. But it's 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 pretty neat. It looks almost exactly like the portal on the website and the door on this uh, Duplo brick, which is. This is another exclusive brick, but all this stuff, all of it, is from 2010. Uh, the magnet, the minifigure, the portal. Uh, so we had this stuff before we had or knew anything about YouTube and doing Lego videos. So I thought I'd show it to you again, uh, showing you the, both the magnet and the exclusive Lego Club Max minifigure. And I'll put the item numbers in the descriptions in case you're searching for one for your collection, the keychain or the uh, minifigure. Thanks for watching. This is Brickzar.